Somewhere out there is an amazing community where the homes are close and create a nice tight knit community, yet also have great backyards where there's privacy and you know, you don't feel like your neighbor's always peering into your backyard. Oh yeah, and that neighborhood is called Lava Ridge and we're taking a tour in eight seconds. This really is one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's got it all. Great homes, mature landscaping. You know, sometimes the newer neighborhoods, they just got those little trees and it's meh. It's got a community pool. Who doesn't love that when it's 90 degrees outside? You're right across the street from one of the best elementary schools in Bend, Ponderosa. And, oh geez, it's also right across the street from one of the very best parks in town, Pine Nursery Park. But the best part, in my humble opinion, are the lava flows that run throughout the neighborhood. These lava flows are amazing, and the developer really did something special here by allowing the lava flows to create green space throughout the neighborhood. So a bunch of these homes actually back up to the lava flow, and it provides a really awesome place for, A, privacy in the backyard, but also you know, it kind of gives places for kids and parents alike to go out and explore. So this neighborhood started in 2003, and there are just under 200 homes in here. It is a Polish built neighborhood, and you know, Polish has been around a long time, and they are still one of the top builders in the Northwest today. In fact, if you've been looking around Bend recently, you know that Polish is one of the biggest and one of the only names in new construction right now. They have new neighborhoods popping up all over town. You've got uh, the Northeast side with Petrosa, you've got the Southeast side with Easton, West Side has Treeline and Skyline West, but really they're actually a regional builder and build all over the Pacific Northwest. But back to Lava Ridges and the fantastic amenities here. I really like the topography of this neighborhood because of the lava flows, but it's also almost kind of in a bowl. And all of these lava flows kind of like pop up and are elevated, creating a nice aesthetic to the neighborhood and really nice private backyards. In fact, it makes the entire neighborhood private. Then of course we have the neighborhood pool, as you can see behind me. Who doesn't want to take a soak in the pool when it's a 90 degree day in the summer? And it's actually pretty unique because unlike other communities across the country, Bend doesn't have a lot of neighborhoods that come with pools. So this is a great amenity. Plus we have one of Central Oregon's beautiful canals that borders the community to the west. These canals are great, run all over Central Oregon, and they're great because most of them have running trails that are kind of associated with them that run alongside them. But even if running is not your thing, we have one of the most versatile parks in all of Bend just across the street. Pine Nursery has, gosh, like almost everything. I mean, it's got ball fields, soccer fields, any kind of field. It's got astroturf fields, even lacrosse fields. Playgrounds, off-leash dog parks, pickleball courts, a covered pavilion if you want to have gatherings like birthday parties or barbecues. There's even a full Frisbee golf course here. There's even sand volleyball courts, a stocked trout pond, there's even a paved running trail that goes, how far does it go again? A mile and a half. A mile and a half around the entire park. Do it twice and it's a 5K. I mean, we could, we could do a whole video on just this park. Mm -hmm. Let us know down in the comments, what parks do you want to know about? Yeah, so some of the homes in here are a little dated, but that's because this neighborhood is coming up on the 20 year mark. But I gotta tell you, I've been in a few homes in here that have been just beautifully updated with stunning interiors. And there are a couple of different kinds of home styles in here. We've got some of the more smaller cottages, 
which are, well, they're not necessarily smaller as far as square footage goes, but they're basically rear entry. So they're rear loading. So there isn't a driveway in the front yard. And then of course we do also have some single family homes that are much larger that do have the front loading garage. Some even with triple car garages, which is nice. Many of these single family homes, the front loading ones, feature a large open living concept in the downstairs area, kitchen and living room, with also large vaulted ceilings that carry up to the second floor with beautiful windows that come up all the way as well, providing great light into the living space. Now the lot sizes can be a little on the smaller side, but it depends on which lot you get. Because like I said, the developer really used these lava flows to kind of set lot boundary lines. So sometimes the lava flow comes right up to the backyard, sometimes you've got quite a bit of extra space before those lava flows actually start. So if you are looking for a nice, quiet neighborhood where nobody's gonna bother you and it's really quiet, don't move here. This isn't it. But if you're looking for a neighborhood that's a lot of fun, where you can be super friendly with your neighbors and is a blast around the 4th of July or maybe even Halloween, and if you want to be able to walk your kids to school and or the park, this is it. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching and you know how it works. Be sure to subscribe, do all the things. And of course, if you're looking to move to the area, my team and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to reach out to us and we will see you over here on the next video.